Hi everyone, Ben here with a little message from my kitchen. Myself and the whole Sorted Food team are doing really well and we hope that you and your families are staying safe and healthy too. Today, a video as normal, every Sunday, every Wednesday. This one was shot uh, a couple of weeks ago. We hope you enjoy it. But before we get on to that, if you're a Sorted Club member, you will know that you get exclusive access to a podcast every single week. We've done about nine series of them. But this week, we want to give away the episode free for everyone in case you're bored at home and need a little extra something to entertain you. It's all about food idioms. If you don't know what that is, you'll definitely want to go and listen. You can get it by clicking in the link in the description box or heading to sorted.club forward slash feast your ears free nine nine. Enjoy. We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hello everyone, I'm Mike, this is Baz, welcome to Fridge Cam. Now there's nothing better than getting something delivered to your front door. Especially if it's food. In today's video, we review some food gift deliveries to give you inspiration for the next time you're feeling generous. Here's how it's going to work. We've each been given a budget and somebody to buy two gifts for. Let's see how much they appreciate them. I'm up first. My budget was £40. And Barry, you're on my receiving end. <laughs> Neo Cocktails contains three Expertly crafted, ready to enjoy cocktails. Okay, got a little card from Ben, a little personal note saying, Baz, a trio of cock. Next line, tails. I've run out of space. <laughs> Even you might finish. Ben and one kiss. These have been crafted um, by the two founders and basically they want to use their expertise, premium brands, quality ingredients and the same range of cocktails that you might get out but so that you can make in. Really, really smart idea. So I've got Whiskey Sour, a garden of Russia, which I've never heard of before, um, but I like the idea of trying something new, uh, and a Negroni as well. Um, I think I'm going to try the Whiskey Sour first. Uh, the 14 flavours to choose from, I chose those three for you because I know you like Whiskey Sour, I know you like Elderflower, and I love a Negroni. So, so it is super simple. Shake, pinch and tear, pour over ice, and savour. These guys are super proud of their environmental sustainability packaging, which they are doing their best to make sure there's no glass involved, because that's heavy for transport. Actually delicious. It's very citrusy, like more so than I'm, I'm, I'm used to, but at the same time, it makes a whiskey sour refreshing. In the spirit of gifting, we don't normally talk about price. It's the sentiment that counts, but what, what do you reckon that might be? But I wouldn't be surprised if these were like eight pounds each. So how much for the three, Barry? Eight. Oh no. <laughs> That's it too. No, himself. actually. I, you know what? I think they should be ten pounds each. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say about twenty-five pounds. The cocktails, when you buy them as three, come in at just under twenty for all of them. So nineteen fifty, six pound fifty a cocktail. But there is three pound postage on top of that. So you, you aren't far off. Twenty-two fifty. Buy it for yourself. I'd say no, but as a gift, it works. Question is. Keep as a gift or re-gift? Definitely keeping this one. My second gift for you. So generous. Is under the cloche. Oh, hot chocolate bombs. Now, where do I put these? In a mug or in the bath? They, they, they could be bath bombs. <laughs> Powdered hot chocolate, whatever you say, Grandma, there's a new hot chocolate format on the scene and once you try it, you'll never go back. Interesting. Well, and it's got something inside. Pop it in and cover it with hot milk. What I figured, if this is to make your big night in a bit more foodie and special, once you've had a cocktail or two, there's nothing you like more than a bath and a hot chocolate. I know you too well. Revealed some marshmallows, and now to stir, bring it together. Baz, Baz, what? Baz, Baz. What? If you've picked up a spoon to stir something with, why on God's green earth are you stirring it with the wrong end of the spoon? Because that end's too big, it felt. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I didn't get a teaspoon, I got one of these. It's fine. Bear in mind, he's had two thirds of a cocktail at this point. <laughs> what difference does it make? It's fine. It's a stirring device. Oh, blah, that is 
a very sweet hot chocolate. Oh, that's good. You could also eat it like a naughty apple. I'm just, they say it, not me. Eat it like a naughty apple, Barry. Eat it like a naughty you apple. Naughty apple. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. 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 I think I prefer the experience of eating it like that. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? And it's some delicious fun as well. As drinking chocolate goes, it's a good quality drinking chocolate. How much do you reckon I spent on this gift? Six pounds, posting packaging, maybe a bit more. It's just round up to a tenner. The product there is 9 99 Basically oh, 10 that. quid. Plus 3 99 delivery, of course, uh, which is pretty standard. So, what you'd expect? I mean, it's not cheap, but it's a lovely gift and a cool experience. This one, are you keeping the gift or re-gifting? I'm keeping this one as well. So I bought you both those gifts for about £36.50. Your cash went a long way there and it brought me a lot of happiness. Thank you. Now I had the pleasure of gifting for you, Jamie, and my budget was £50. Big spender. And this is gift number one. It's a borrow box. A borrow box. A borrow box. A borrow box. What is a borrow box? Dear Jamie, thank you for helping me out with that thing the other day. I really appreciate your delicate handling of my matter. Here is another small something to show my gratitude. Oops. <laughs> personal, per personal gift, personal message. So this is the beer, chips and dips gift box from Borough Box. <laughs> chips and dips were meant to be enjoyed while sipping a cold beer. You got two beers, two chips and a dip, including a flavoursome pita chip that were especially created for beer. They seem quite individual. Yeah, like kind of artis artisanal. They're really nice. I'm having a lovely time. If you did want to send your mate a gift mm -hmm. because they've helped you out or having a tough time, chips, dips and beer might be more appropriate than flowers or the more cliché gifts that are sent. Yeah. What I like is that it feels like each component has been individually chosen to be there because it's of a good quality and in its own right is really good. Hasn't a guessed at how much I spent on you? £18. Oh, OK. Actually, it's £14.99 plus £4.99 for delivery. It's quite a big box. It's quite heavy, isn't it? So it's like 20 quid. Yeah. That's really, really nice. I probably think you'd spend about 15 quid. Yeah, I think that's... It's better than buying a buying me a beer in the pub. So you're gonna keep the gift or re-gift it? I'm gonna keep this one. Well, just as well, because there's not much of it there. <laughs> Jamie, for my second gift for you, do you want to lift the cloche? Oh, 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 letterbox hamper. My Jamie, here is a little something to help you on your new diet. Anyway, hopefully, this will keep your protein levels up between meals. Love from your Barry. Kiss, kiss. This is the Best of British Charcuterie Meats Letterbox Hamper by Letterbox Hamper. All right, what have we got? We've got the Delhi Farm Charcuterie Smoked Fioco Ham. It's dry cured in a blend of salts, herbs and spices, smoked with apple wood before being slowly air dried. Good I am. Mmm. So you've got venison brizola. Oh. Punchy. In a really good way. That is very punchy. I like that. These are roasted watermelon seeds by Mellow Seeds. I like them. A nice alternative to nuts. Talking of nuts, just have some almonds. Wow. Mmm. Let's go for the snacking salami. Snacking salami prepared from the finest British pork, chili and smoked paprika, delivering a sharp piquancy and a deep, rich flavour. Good times. And that means we finish on the, is, is it snacking ham or is it snacking them? Snacking them. It's got a kick to it, this one. Yeah. Mm. A lot of meat to get through in there. <laughs> and also, two of them with great taste awards. Okay, what do you reckon on price? I would be surprised mm. if this was less than 30 pounds. I have to say, I used a 15% off discount code to get this. We paid 23 pounds 76. Really? And the delivery cost was only 3 pounds 75. Great. So what was that without the 15% discount? Just out of interest. Uh, £27.95. Got it written down. So. <laughs> Plus delivery. Plus delivery. About 30 quid. About 30 quid. Yeah. I'd be happy with that. So total spend was £47.49. I think you got me. 
Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. things that I would enjoy, but wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to buy myself in that quantity or that maybe even level of quality. So yeah, I'm I'm impressed. Mate. Ebbers, 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 can't you see? I had a 60 pound budget to get you a gift from me. Aww. Can I spin? Yeah, two gifts from me. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! I mean, I already know impress how impressive these people are. Um, but you know, I just thought you need a little pick-me-up. Things happen. Okay. And we, you just need to know that someone is there for you. Excellent. I like how Bay gets more nervous about opening his present and excited. <laughs> This gift is a thoughtful, scrumptious gift to give someone who's recovering from an accident, illness, or operation. With a selection of healthy, feel-good items from creamy nut butter to dark chocolate to green tea, it's sure to cheer them up. Very thoughtful. Bean dip with rosemary and thyme pita chip. Mm. Tomato and coriander chutney's good. Praline as well, she kind of got the, the nut with the caramel element. Mm. You get this, you open it up, you start looking at it all and, and tasting different bits. Is this doing the job? Is it helping you feel better? I think if you're a bit of a foodie, then the fact that there's like 10 different things in one hamper gives you plenty to play around and you can space it out over your entire recovery period. Even the cordial is low sugar. And it says you can mix it with gin. Perfect. So, I am a big fan of this. Sounds like it's going down well so far, but how much do you think I spent on it? I'm not going to try and top them all up because they're all a bit different. Like, these are relatively low cost, to borrow a chocolate, a few quid. Like we know what some of these cost, but there's 10 items that have been created and sent to your door. So probably 32 quid. That was 34.99. Oh, that is a generous gift. Plus five pound delivery. Still really like it. Are you going to keep it or are you going to re-gift it? So I'm definitely going to keep it and enjoy it. Get in. Well done. All right, Ebbers, my second gift for you is ready. Hive and keeper. So there's a nice little note. Trees are a fantastic source of pollen and nectar for bees, especially as a tree has so many flowers. Enjoy the honey, Emily. Great. That's not the note that I asked them to send. I think Emily might have written two notes. The other note she's oh, written. Oh, poor Emily. <laughs> Hi, Ben. I know you love sustainable artisanal produce, so please enjoy this monthly honey subscription. We'll have you back in trousers <laughs> in no time. Love, Jamie. I think Emily had to actually write that out, you idiot. <laughs> oh, no. It ask if you want to write a personalised message, so you write one, and then you realise somebody's actually had to get a pen out and write it themselves, going, oh, my God, I hope he's OK. <laughs> Emily, if you're watching, I'm really sorry that you had to do that. So this is Raw Honey from Hive and Keeper. Uh, you can subscribe, or you can get a one-off box for someone. So these are two different beekeepers. This is Ross's, it's fruity. And this is Keith's. This one is almost caramelly. So I like that. A community of beekeepers bringing their honeys to the market so that more people can try local honeys. Good use of the uh, wrong end of a spoon again. He's learning from you. Lovely looking honey, nice, clear. It is fruity, but it's floral as well, it's nice. This one from Keith, much thicker, caramelly flavours, it says on the jar. Ooh. Ooh. So that one, I want drizzled over yogurt with some nuts and maybe some toasted seeds and things. Whereas that one, I want just spread on toast. And I know honey on toast <laughs> isn't great, but that would be great. A snapshot in time, capturing flowers, weather and landscape in a jar. How much do you think my gift was? 16 pounds plus PMP. This was 17 99 including delivery. Ooh. As an, I mean, it's an expensive jar of honey on its own, but it's a good jar of honey. And you're buying into Keith and Ross and their dreams. We probably already know the answer to this, but are you going to keep it or are you going to re-gift it? I am most definitely keeping. We've kept everything, haven't we? <laughs> but actually, how often do you send presents back? Yeah, yeah true. So, out of my £60 budget, I spent £57.07. How do you think I did? 
I feel better for it. It's feel good food. It's quite a lot of money for 12 items, but they're nice items and quality items, and I think it's good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's that a positive video. I know. It's got a nice buzz about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. We hope you enjoyed that food gift delivery video. We'd also like to take the time to formally apologise to Emily from Hyping Keeper for having to write that personalised get well soon message to Ben. Hashtag sorry. Not sorry. Now, as always, make sure you like and subscribe to us. We do this every Wednesday and every Sunday at 4pm. Bye. Shall I close the door now? We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast, and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper.